Hello, hello, and happy Friday and happy last quarter moon in Capricorn to all of my Cancers. Yes, Cancers, let's get right into your general reading. Hopefully you all are having a great day on today or at least creating space for a great day. I know that you are. I know that you are. By this point, you should know how important setting your intentions are. Let's get right into your general reading. This is for my Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North and South Node. If you need to know what Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node is, the description is in the description box below. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Cancers. Yes, Cancers. Beautiful thing about last quarter moon while I'm laying your cards out, Cancers, is last quarter moon is about what is leaking your energy. It's about what, you know, gathering all information in your spirit. Who, what, when, where. People, places, and things that leak your energy. And what are you leaving in your past and what are you bringing forward? Very nice. Right out the deck. Very nice. All right. Not surprised that what I'm looking at here... All right, Cancers, let's look at the cards. Let's take a look at, let's see what the cards have to say. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the two of wands. Yes. So when I look at your cards, it looks like tons of opportunities are coming your way because you are deciding, again, your ruling planet is the moon. We know that the moon is not a planet. It's a luminary. The moon is aligned to all of our feelings, our moods, our emotions, our instincts, our subconscious habits, your intuition, right? And so your intuition is already telling you you're the best sign to even know this because you're a cancer and that's your, that's your luminary, right? The moon, right? So you all know exactly instinctively what is leaking your energy. Are you sitting around ruminating over something too long? Somebody was ruminating over somebody who they thought was a soulmate, right? That person could have been your soulmate until they were not, right? They may not be your twin flame. They could have been, like I said, soulmate could be a best friend, a family member, or ex, romantic interest or whatever. But guess what? You're going to have to burn that bridge and move forward. Something in your past would have had you, and this person could have been an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but nevertheless, it's time to move on from that, that relationship so that you can move forward, right? There's tons of opportunities coming your way, tons of them coming your way. So instead of getting upset and being frustrated and crying over the energy, release it and be grateful for the fact that the moon is your ruling planet. Again, the moon is not a planet for, for that energy. Remember, the, the moon is directly linked to your sign. So when we talk about, well, we don't like this sign and we don't like that sign, you got to look at the what planet is ruling that particular sign. Moon happens to rule, is your ruling planet, right? And we know, again, it's not a planet. But nevertheless, I see somebody in a posture of gratitude, whether this is me, myself, or not, or you and your closest friends, you are together, you're just grateful. Having that conversation, yep, it's time to release. It's time to release so that we can move on. And so, because it looks like the energy that you were dealing with was a low vibrating energy. That person was very selfish. That person was, you know, not trying to budge. That person was, you know, um, short, uh, short tempered or short circuited or something, even if they may have been trying to come across as something else, right? Again, you're... <laughs> You won't have a problem finding somebody new. You won't have a problem finding new friends. You won't have a problem finding, you know, ascension with your job. You won't have a problem because those people have a lot of issues. And their gener their inner energies, or I'm sorry, their issues are generational. So they may appear to be one way on the outside, but on the inside, it's a lot going on underneath that cancer. So I need you all to stay focused and go ahead and move that energy to the side. Because this is right here. This is like, here you are. You know, you're ascending higher and higher and higher like a balloon. You're just going higher, higher, higher. As soon as you get close to this, it burns you. Burst your balloon and brings you right down with them. So no, you, you don't want that energy attached to you anymore. Because there's too many places to travel. I'm saying travel in your cards, wherever you want to go. And when I say wherever you want to go, your legacy wealth is going to take you there. I see a new person coming across your path that you're creating legacy wealth with. Even if you don't want to be in a romantic relationship, Cancer, this person is a good business partner that's going to help you create your legacy. So somebody better start saying out of their mouth, source, God, most high, whatever you, deity, 
how would you pre um, refer to your higher self? Somebody better start saying out of their mouth. If you don't want to be in a romantic relationship just yet, start saying, hey, give me the strength to sever ties with this energy right here and send a business partner into my life. Somebody who's going to help me learn how to create a 501c3, someone who's going to help me create an LLC uh, and, or a corporation, something where I can start creating my legacy wealth for me and my kids. And even if you don't have kids, kids in the community, your entire community and the world at large, give me the strength to sever ties with this, to burn that bridge for good, to take a blowtorch to this relationship so I can move on, so I can start creating my legacy, so I can get focused, so I can get fired up and focused. I'm also seeing perfect synergy for you in the workplace. So whether you have your own business or you're applying for a new job, I see fire up under you. I'm seeing some fire up under you, right? So again, you're gonna. I see you firing some people, Cancer. I see you firing them, firing the energy attached to them, their whole family, all of it. And I see you being victorious at doing it. Somebody is ready for change. That's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. Somebody is really ready for change. Somebody is ready to love up on themselves harder. This right here, Two of Cups, represents duality. You're ready to meet your divine masculine side of yourself and start taking some action. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is going to be the initiator. It's like, okay, I feel you're the I feel sign. I feel like it's time. I'm a sweetheart and I want to remain a sweetheart, but I got to get this energy out of my life because it's triggering something in me that's causing me to be moody, to be negative, to be clingy, to be unpredictable, to be suspicious of everything. I've been, I, I have given my all to certain relationships. You know, I'm a human lie detector. This person is manipulative. They're a liar. You know, I have been maternal to this energy. When this person needed some maternal energy, I'm talking to men and women. I've been, I've been what I needed to be to that person. I've been loyal. I have been sympathetic. But hey, it's time for me to move on. So I do see you embracing all sides of yourself. Remember something too, Cancer, and I got to remind everybody of this. During the time of you being in a relationship or with a with a job that kept burning you or um, a romantic relationship that kept burning you, a friendship, anything that kept burning you, remember how you were coming across to other people. Yes, you're a sweetheart, but you were coming across as a moody sweetheart, right? Because every time this energy seeped into your spirit, your whole mood changed. So some of the people are going to remember you from the past as being somebody that was just moody and somebody who was negative or unpredictable or clingy or even Hey, let them have their opinion of you because you now know what the source of the issue was. The source of the issue was that you should have severed ties with this energy or these energies a long time ago so that you can get back to being a high vibrating cancer. Here we have things that are going to happen for you real quick. You're going to meet another person real quick if that's what you want. You're going to meet a friendship, your friendship circle quick, but you got to say it out of your mouth. You got to say it out of your mouth. Say it out of your mouth and start taking action. So if you want to meet a new person, create an online profile, get out the house, you know, look like you want to meet people, right? Put a smile on your face. Don't be moody. Don't be nervous and scared. If you want a new position, speak it into existence and start looking through, you know, if you're working a job right now and you know, okay, a slot just opened in this area. Maybe I can get in there. Maybe I can talk to some people. Operate on faith. Don't be afraid. Here we have the um, queen of wands. I see somebody feeling very happy, magnetic, and free. Like I said, Cancer, you all are on fire. After coming out of this, overthinking it, ruminating over some things, this used to be how you were. You used to sit around and keep thinking about stuff until you got sick of it. But now I'm seeing wish fulfillment for you. Why? Because you're on fire and you know it. You're on fire and you know it. And why? Because you saw that holding on to those emotions were blocking your money. It was blocking your vision for your goods, product, and services so that you so that you can think of ideas and you didn't even know what to ask for, what to pray for, because again, you were stuck in those feelings, those emotions, but you tapped into that strength. The strength card is attached to Leo and you started healing yourselves. This is attached to Aquarius, right? So some of you all are fixated on tapping into your strength and shining like the star you've always been. The money of energy has never been foreign to you. It's you all to call the money sign as well as the den mother sign. So again, this is what I'm seeing for you, Cancers. Let's keep it moving. Let's see what else these cards have to say, Cancer. This is nice. This is very, very, very nice, Cancer. So yeah, let's go. Let's keep this thing rolling. I love this for you. Finally, somebody got some fire up under them and said, I am moving on. I am moving on for good. 
I'm moving on for good because I'm, I got a legacy to create with the person who wants to create a legacy too, the hanged one. I do see you being patient with yourself. This is attached to the planet Neptune. So I'm seeing that your imagination is growing. You are, you have this, this larger capacity for compassion and unconditional love. Your psychic gifts are coming through. You feel very sensitive to energies all around you. Why? Because you're healed. And a lot of you all are healers and don't even realize it, right? So yes, that's going to be a part of your legacy too, Cancer, is being a healer. Some of you all are going to be taking Reiki courses if you haven't already. Some of you all have this Hey, I'm going to start a YouTube channel and start reading tarot cards. Some of you all said, you know what? I'm going to tap into my other spiritual gifts so I can start healing some people because you already have enough ex life experiences. So now you're, you're aware, you're conscious, you are on fire. Again, some of you all are not afraid of what's to come at all. Here we have, I am specific in my desires and I believe in getting results. That's right. You are very specific about what it is you want and you look and you are going to get results. Yeah. Go inside and make your intention known. That's right. Go inside of yourself and make your intention known, Cancer. Some of you all didn't even realize that, you know, you were coming across as being brutally honest to people because you can see your, as, the, as a Cancer, you're already equipped with this gift. You came into this realm with this gift. But because the moodiness took over, because if there were some areas, some people in your life, you were just coming across almost as mean-spirited. I just want somebody to know that that's how you were coming across as being somebody who was just, you know, just mean-spirited. Because you could, it was almost like you, because you could read people, one minute your heart is big and you have a big heart, but because this energy over here was, you know, kept burning you and kept trying to make you feel some kind of way. And every time you try to warm up to this one particular energy, I'm saying somebody was in a, whether it was with your parents or whether it was a family member or somebody that you're in a romantic relationship with, they kept burning you. And instead of you burning the bridge with them, you were burning other people with your moods. And so again, this is where you want to forgive yourselves and you, this, this is Rose Court. You want to forgive yourself and start operating from a, a place of just pure love, pure love, love of self love of people because again i see you tapping into your strength your um your your energy and healing a lot of people i see you healing a lot of people under this sun that's right under the stars i see you healing a lot of people believe in the impossible your throat chakra that color blue dealing with your your throat chakra throat chakra is wide open so somebody is saying give me the strength to completely sever ties with these energies that have burned me in the past whether they family members ex romantic relationships friends, whomever they are, so I can get out here and live my purpose out loud. And I'm telling you, you're going to meet somebody, y'all going to be building a legacy together. Whether it's a business partner that's going to help put you on center stage where you are healing people all over the world. Center stage could be on YouTube. It can be physically on a stage in a building where TV cameras are flashing. People are just going to, you're just, that's part of your legacy. You're going to be known as a healer. Again, I'm talking to Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. That's what I'm talking to. Clear your energy field. This number 10, instant manifest. That's what it means, instant manifestation. Speak it. Say it out of your mouth. Give me the strength. Give me the strength to heal all the dark places in me, including severing ties with these people so I can get on about the business of walking in my purpose of healing people under this under the stars, he, helping people to heal their dark spaces within them. I'm telling you, this is going to be real big for you, Cancer, so get focused. That's what I have for you. If you, if you want to be, I see you all being the mother of many people because you have very nurturing, mothering energy. So again, this is, this is what the whole world needs. The world needs nurturing. So this is what, this is who you're going to be healing. So those people from your past that burned you, family members, exes, old friends, the whole nine yards, forgive them, release it into the universe, and they will be a part of amongst the healing because you have healed your dark spaces. That's what I have for you, Cancer. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.